For Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name, I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord, and there is none else, there is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness, I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Israelites, it is extremely important for you to understand there are two Elohim of Israel in the authorized scriptures. Just as there are two messiahs, Satan had to disguise himself as the Elohim of Israel in the authorized scriptures to obtain the worship he lusts after. In addition, Satan altered the original scriptures to deceive the whole world. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. You must utilize the Holy Spirit dwelling in you to identify the Most High Yah in the scriptures. Satan must imitate everything the Most High does to increase his army. There are two messiahs, two Elohim of Israel, and two chosen groups of people. The purpose of the tale series on this channel is to help you understand duality. In addition to identify the fraudulent characters as well as the prophecies Satan imitate to deceive the masses. The kingdom of darkness infiltrate the scriptures to get the world to worship Satan. Remember, Satan lusts to be like the Most High. The scriptures reveal Satan wants to be the Most High. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. If you look around, Satan is being worshipped like the Most High in all the kingdoms of this world. In every nation, you could find the Protestant Church and the Roman Catholic Church. The sheep are deceived to believe they are serving the Elohim of Israel in religion. Religion is the gateway that gives the kingdom of darkness power in the physical realm. 86% of this world's population have some sort of faith. Satan is the founding father of religion. The Most High did not invent religion. Israelites, you do not need to go to a building to find the Most High. Your body serves as the temple that house the spirit of the Most High. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. The Most High Yah said he would make a new covenant with his people, the house of Israel and Judah. Yah said he would write his laws into our hearts and mind. With the laws of the Most High in our hearts and our bodies serve as the temple for the Most High, there is no need for a religious building to connect to the Most High. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. During the times of our ancestors, before organized religion, our people would gather in small groups to pray and fellowship. The scriptures give an account of when Peter was in jail, the Israelites gathered in the house of Mary, John's mother, to pray that the Most High would intervene in Peter's situation. And when he had to consider the thing, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. And as Peter knocked at the door of the gate, a damsel came to hearken, named Rhoda. And when she knew Peter's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness, but ran in and told how Peter stood before the gate. And they said unto her, Thou art mad. But she constantly affirmed that it was even so. Then said they, It is his angel. But Peter continued knocking. And when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. But he, beckoning unto them with the hand to hold their peace, declared unto them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. And he said, Go show these things unto James and to the brethren. And he departed and went into another place. 
The Israelite bloodline is a single family. What you read in the scriptures speak of a family. Once or twice a year, the Israelites would travel to Jerusalem, where the temple of the Most High was, to observe the feast days. The Levites who descend from the Israelite bloodline would officiate the ceremonies. No outsiders was involved with the affairs of the Most High. No stranger could enter the house of the Most High. Thus saith the Lord God, No stranger, uncircumcised in heart, nor uncircumcised in flesh, shall enter into my sanctuary of any stranger that is among the children of Israel. The Most High said, Never place a stranger over you. Every Israelite needs to hear this. Never place a heathen stranger over you to lead you. The indigenous black people will never get ahead if they keep putting their enemies over them to lead. It is the Most High that order your steps. The scriptures reveal Yahshua traveled with his parents to Jerusalem to participate in the observance of the feast days. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. The scriptures do not give an account of the Israelites gathering every Sunday to participate in religious ceremonies at a church. The reason the Most High scattered the Levites among the Israelites to fulfill scriptures. Jacob cursed Levi and Simeon because of their anger. Jacob said he would divide them in Israel. Cursed be their anger, for it was fierce, and their wrath, for it was cruel. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. The Most High took the Levites for himself to serve in his house. Due to the Levites being the priests and prophets among the Israelite nation, the Most High gave them no portion among the Israelite land inheritance. The Levites were to live in specific cities among their brethren. Command the children of Israel that they give unto the Levites of the inheritance of their possession cities to dwell in. And ye shall give also unto the Levites suburbs for the cities round about them. The Levites live among the twelve tribes and they minister to their brethren. The statutes the Most High gave his chosen people, the Israelites, are not being carried out in organized religion today. The Levites have a specific role. They are the ones to care for the temple of the Most High. Today, any heathen can become leaders in the church. Israelites, the temple that was built for the Most High during King Solomon's reign no longer exists. We are the temple, and the Most High placed His Spirit in us. That is how we can serve the Most High in the Spirit and in truth. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship Him. God is a Spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. The Most High seek for His people to serve Him in the Spirit and in truth, not through workers of iniquity disguising themselves as angels of light in religion. The people who are serving the real Elohim of Israel are not in organized religion. You will not find the Elohim of Israel in the church. Yah is not there, nor is the Most High in Islam, Judaism, and all the other religions of this world. The church that are in every corner are temples raised to the false Elohim of Israel. The churches many Israelites rely on for help are powerless against the kingdom of darkness. The church buildings that sits in every corner of a city are altars built to Baal. There is no way you could serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth in religion. Religion does not teach the truth, nor does religion operate in the spirit. How can you obey the Most High to serve Him in the Spirit and in truth if the truth is not being taught to the people in religion? The Spirit of the Most High is not there. The workers of iniquity depend on familiar spirits to lead the people. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words... Then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. The scripture said, if the prophets who are prophesying in religion today were sent by the Most High, the people would have turned from their wicked ways. 
Every other day, there is a scandal from the church, from the Catholic priests sleeping with young boys to pastors committing adultery with many harlots in the church. The spirit of the Most High is not leading the religious leaders in religion. Their flesh is leading them. The scriptures reveal you cannot please the Most High in the flesh. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Israelites, now that you know religion is not of the Most High, you need to understand how Satan infiltrate the scriptures to insert the false Messiah, the false chosen people, and the false Elohim of Israel. For you to understand how Satan inserted himself into the scriptures, the authorized scriptures are not the original text. The Most High had his prophets write to help guide the future generation of Israelites. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. If the authorized scriptures were the original, there would be no need to disclaim authorized. In addition, there would be no need for the synagogue of Satan to keep the original scrolls hidden. The highly circulated authorized scriptures are altered copies of the original text. When Israelites debate how the New Testaments are not scriptural and only follow the Torah, you must understand the Old Testament is altered as well. If there are missing books and scriptures in the authorized version, this would conclude the entire Bible is incomplete. Instead of debating, ask the Most High to help you decode the sealed scriptures. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I am not learned. Israelites, there is nothing too hard for the Most High. The Holy Spirit could reveal truth in the altered scriptures. That is how I can show you the alterations and give you the true interpretation of the scriptures. The Most High has written his laws in our hearts and mind. When you activate the Holy Spirit, the truth of the Most High's words are activated. The words of the Most High are alive and powerful. Yah's words would not return to him void. Yah's words would do what he sent them to do. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. The Most High said, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never perish. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Regardless to what the workers of iniquity does to the original scriptures, the Most High can reveal truth. Remember, in the house of the Most High, there are vessels made for honor and some for dishonor. If you are connected to the Most High, Yah's Spirit will guide you and show you the things to come. It is important to serve the Most High in the Spirit and in truth. Too many Israelites are wasting time carrying on foolish debates that do not serve anyone. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender stripes. But avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. Israelites, we need to go back to the Council of Nicaea. Satan, operating through the Emperor Constantine, ordered to assemble the heathen council that altered the scriptures. During the times of the early so-called church, there was corruption with false doctrines. The kingdom of darkness utilized that time to establish organized religion and to infiltrate the scriptures. The emperor Constantine was not of the Israelite bloodline, but a Roman heathen. Constantine had no authority to alter the scriptures, just as the modern day Pope do not have the authority to alter or speak on the behalf of the Most High. These idolaters, like the Pope, speak on the behalf of the God they serve, which is Satan. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. 
When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. The religious leaders of today disguise the idols they serve as the Elohim of Israel to the sheep in the church. The church serves the kingdom of darkness. The religious leaders are high-level workers of iniquity. They mask their idols as the Elohim of Israel to increase the army of Satan, in addition to get many to worship Satan. Remember, Satan lusts to be worshipped like the Most High. If the workers of iniquity do not bring the kingdom of darkness souls, the idols they serve will destroy them. That is why they deceive the people into serving idols in religion. Also to prolong the reign of the heathens. Everyone should know Constantine worshipped many idols. Therefore there is a lot of paganism in religion, especially Christianity. The Council of Nicaea manipulate the laws of the Most High. Laws such as the Sabbath day. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. The Most High did not say to observe the Sabbath day on Sunday. Today, the Protestant and the Roman Catholic Church observe Sunday as the day of rest, a set-apart day authorized by the Emperor Constantine. Satan had the synagogue of Satan replace the indigenous black people with the serpent seed in the authorized scriptures. The Bible is whitewash. Every character, according to religious leaders of today, are white with European background. Yet the beginning of civilization is in Africa and the original indigenous people are black. Mainstream media is pushing Europeans born outside of Europe as the new face of the people of color. Israelites, you must be observant. Pay attention to how the kingdom of darkness operate. The truth is not in them. They are incapable of telling the truth. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. The kingdom of darkness had the synagogue of Satan rename the places that hold significant value to the Israelite nation to better insert Satan's chosen people, the Jews, into the scripture. Satan had the synagogue of Satan change the prophet's Hebrew names to European names. The Israelites are named after the Most High and their family members who were also named after the Most High. That is why the scriptures reveal the Israelites are called after the Most High name. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. The Most High name every bloodline after the progenitor of a bloodline. The progenitor to a bloodline is the father. The Most High is a father to the Israelites. That is why his people are called after his name. The authorized scriptures reveal Roman pagan names for the prophets, Messiah, and the disciples. Names such as Peter, John, Mark, Mary, Matthew, and David. These names are not traditional Israelite names. With Satan changing the name of the prophets and the location where the scriptures depict the Israelite stories, the people of today would believe the imposters who call themselves Jew as the descendant of the Israelites in the authorized version of the scriptures. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. But are this synagogue of Satan? Once the people accept the impostors as the chosen people, the kingdom of darkness can present the Roman Jewish Messiah as the Messiah sent by the Most High and God in the flesh. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. 
If you are being guided by the Holy Spirit, you could see the two messiahs, the two Elohim of Israel, and the two chosen groups of people in the authorized version of the scriptures. That is what you call duality. Satan must imitate everything the Most High does to deceive. The Jewish Messiah the heathens proclaim to be the Elohim of Israel in the flesh is an idol. The Messiah the Most High sent did not seek worship, nor did he ask the people to worship him. Yahshua was about his father's business. Religion has elevated the Jewish Messiah to the Elohim of Israel. The church worship and bow down to the Messiah that proclaims to be the father in the flesh. The scripture said the most high is our savior. In addition, Yahshua said to worship the father. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I, even I am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Today, the church bypasses the scriptures that testify against their doctrines and set up a graven image that supposedly represent the Messiah or God in the flesh. The religious leaders of today disregard the Most High when he said not to create any graven images. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. The church does not abide by the laws of the Most High. How are they serving the Elohim of Israel? Sin is transgressing the laws of the Most High. The church does not follow the laws of the Most High, but the laws of men. Sin separates you from the Most High. Since sin separates you from the Most High, who is the deity the people serve in religion? The Most High separated himself from religion. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. The synagogue of Satan taught the people via religion to rebel against the Most High, just as Satan rebelled against the Most High. King Saul was the Israelites' first king. King Saul had a hard time obeying the Most High. Through his constant disobedience, the Most High judged him and stripped him of his kingship. But now thy kingdom shall not continue. The Lord hath sought him a man after his own heart. And the Lord hath commanded him to be captain over his people, because thou hast not kept that which the Lord commanded thee. Today, the people seek to please their flesh. Many are unrepentant. They participate in activities that gratify the flesh with no remorse. The scripture said not to be partakers with them. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. The people are led to believe they can continue with their abominations if they accept Jesus as their Savior. Too many people are deceived by the doctrines of religion. Many people believe they secured residency in the coming kingdom because of their faith in Jesus Christ. The Most High seek for his people to serve him in the spirit and in truth. Religion is missing the truth. In addition, the people have a personal relationship with an idol pretending to be the Elohim of Israel. The kingdom of darkness is destroying the people via religion. Israelites, the Most High said, he would not share his glory nor give his praise to any graven images. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. The Most High said he would not give his praise to any graven images. That should be enough for everyone to realize they are not serving the Most High in religion. Christianity celebrate and elevate a graven image that do not depict the real Messiah or the Elohim of Israel. The religious leaders of today completely ignore the commands of the Most High. They encourage the people to follow them. But I know this that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things, to draw away disciples after them. The world would never welcome anything that pertains to the Most High. Israelites, the God religion elevate and refer to as the Elohim of Israel, the original scriptures and the authorized version do not support the graven image the world receive and claim to be the Elohim of Israel.
The Council of Nicaea not only changed names and location, they altered the original scriptures to support their interpretation of the scriptures. Satan will always imitate the Most High to deceive. The God the kingdom of darkness promote to the world as the Elohim of Israel is not the God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is an imposter like the Jewish Messiah that came in his own name. I am come in my father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. Israelites, you must learn to decode the scriptures with the Holy Spirit. That is the only way you would find the truth. Despite of the kingdom of darkness alterations in the Bible, the Most High can show us who we are in the whitewash authorized version of the Bible. The awakening should serve as a testimony that the Most High has the final say. In addition, greater is he that's in you than he that's in this world. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Israelites, the kingdom of darkness can alter the scriptures and replace the indigenous people. Their wickedness will not stop the awakening. What is up must come down. The last will be first and the first will be last. So the last shall be first and the first last. For many be called, but few chosen. The heathens have been in power with the kingdom of darkness for a long time. I have good news. The times of the heathen will soon end. No amount of alteration and lies planted could stop the Most High from connecting with his people. The Elohim of our fathers is alive and he is with us. Do not confuse the Most High with the imposter Jewish Savior. Yah dwells in you and he is our father. Yah said, my sheep knows my voice and they follow me. Israelites, make sure you are following the Elohim of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Elohim of Israel. He is our only Savior. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, that they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand.